here we have the fuselage up on the bench. Take a look and see what everything looks like here. Start by pulling off the gun hood that eventually gets attached to this hatch here. It's a removable hatch so you can get to your batteries or whatever you, if you use fuel, tank, other things. Look down inside the plane. Uh, everything's glued pretty nicely and looks good and tight. Excellent work. And let's see, we move on down the fuselage. Here's some of the weathering. <clears throat> you can see the panel lines and the rivet detail all printed right onto the covering. And let's see, let's take this uh, canopy off. And I'll show you one of my favorite features. Actually has a sliding canopy, which I'm going to motorize. That's gonna really be nice. And pull it out there on the runway and close my canopy. Look down inside at the cockpit, cockpit detail. Um, and then we'll just go on, move on down the fuselage a little bit. You can see all the rivet detail. There's an area right in here uh, that gets cut out for the uh, horizontal stabilizer, which bolts on so you can um, transport the plane easily. And uh, here's the other side. Notice this covering is stuck down really well and it's a little thicker than the stuff that's on my Phoenix Models 20cc size um, Falk Wolf, which is right here. You can see the covering on it. It has peeled back a little bit, and it's just not as good a quality as it is over on the Black Horse. Of course, there's a lot more money in the Black Horse. Yeah, that canopy is going to be so cool when it slides on its own. And let's see. Yeah, put this. There's the firewall. The firewall is uh, doubled. Two pieces of uh, laminated quarter inch plywood. So it's about a half inch thick right where the motor mounts. Everything looks like it's glued on good. Of course, I always reinforce this area uh, when I'm building an ARF. And this is, uh, put this hatch back on here. Now I'll give you a look at the underside of the fuselage. And you can see the wing attachment slides in on the wing tubes and bolts from the inside. Um, there's a hatch back here for access to the tail wheel mounting and adjustment. And it comes with a fixed tail wheel on this model, which is fine with me because those things are aggravating and you don't see them that often. Um, you can see there the spot in the fuselage where the wheels retract into after the wings are on. And uh, here we have the plane with the wing and just a couple of quick measurements. Looks like around 47 and a quarter inches. And at the wing root, it's about two feet, 23 inches. And down here, the wing measures about nine inches to the aileron, uh, a good foot, 13 inches, including the aileron. And underneath, you see the detail. There's a spot where the retract's cut out. And that's your hatch for accessing the flap servo and the hatch for the aileron servo. Just really impressed with this covering. It's stuck down really nice. And, and you can see here that it's, it's a little thicker than uh, a little more heavy duty than the, the cheaper stuff. 
and uh, let's see this is the rudder I'm not going to take it out of the package just yet but makes this plane almost seven feet long when it's on there and this is uh, one half of the horizontal stabilizer got that blue gray color on the bottom and the steel gray color on top and uh, let's see here I can uh, just lay this wing down and give you an idea of the size of this monster it's, it's a really good sized plane this is the cow the uh, dummy cooling fan and I'll give you some measurements on this cow here it measures about 12 and 3 quarters side to side 12 and 3 quarters top to bottom and then down inside it's 12 and a half inches tall and then down inside where it, it kind of tapers in I know this is important for you guys wanting to use a radial right up at the front it's right at 12 inches I know a lot of times you have trouble with the rocker arms hitting that area on a Falk Wolf because that curves in but uh, you stick this thing on here you can get a little better idea of the sheer size of the plane and there you have it it's easier said than done it looks like <laughs> all right next we'll pull out the retractable landing gear that comes supplied with the kit here's your gear doors the retract control unit and uh, here's one of the retracts I did take a picture of my Sierra gear that I have uh, for my top RC Falk Wolf that I haven't put together yet and uh, I'll compare them at the end in that picture for you but uh, this is a heavy duty built landing gear and uh, it operates really smoothly as you can see the down lock doesn't really do anything it's locked in place pretty well right now on its own but that down lock just for looks And this is the keel that goes on the bottom of the airplane to hold the bomb. Um, here's the bomb. That's the bomb. <clears throat> and uh, here's the included pilot in the seat. This included pilot, I, I won't say much about him, but um, he's not suitable for a quarter scale Falkworth aircraft. So, and then we have, uh, like say there's the seat, the exhaust, they go in there, some blisters for the wings, Um, machine guns also for the wing that's a gun sight it goes in uh, in the cockpit for firing the forward mounting uh, guns and uh, these little things here cover where the aileron control linkages come out of the plane and, and uh, kind of hide that hole that they make and this is uh, included CG um, rig 
and you, you just hook that on the uh, turn the plane upside down of course hook that on to the uh, wing spar tube wing tube and uh, use for balance and bag full of accessories or hardware some engine mounting hardware and the pieces for mounting the cowl the included wheels her hard rubber uh, and they look to be six inches in diameter um, this little baby here is kind of a disappointment that's plastic spinner and it is too small it's only uh, it looks like it's three and three quarters maybe four inches um, but I'm going to be using this one from Top RC. I had this one purchased for my Top RC Falk Wolf, and it's uh, four and three quarters in diameter. And uh, you can buy those for 109 bucks from Mike Mueller at Gator RC. I think they're out of stock right now, but they are definitely worth the 109 bucks. And here's the instruction manual. It's got the typical rules and regulations in front, how to assemble everything. And this one pretty much goes together just exactly like the 22, the 20 cc Fock Wolf from Phoenix models. It's almost an identical plane, just better built quality and better covered. Hopefully it flies as good as that one. Well, there you have it. There's a good looking 102 inch wingspan Falk Wolf. And uh, it's taking up a lot of room here in my, in my shop. But uh, it's well worth it. I, I love the size of the plane. I love the plane and uh, we'll be getting some flying videos of it this summer, this spring and summer. There's my EME 120 engine. Um, one of the wing panels. And let's see, uh, just goofing around there in the shop. And let's see, uh, well, just a close up there of the uh, detail on the covering the rivets already applied decals and there's another shot of the cockpit all the gauges nice looking cockpit shot down the inside of the plane and uh, You can see some of the good gluing joints. And then uh, that's looking down inside the front hatch. Here's the uh, Sierra landing gear for my top RC. Falk Wolf on the left and the included gear with this one uh, on the right. They are electric, the Sierra gear are pneumatic. And uh, like I say, these gear are included with this plane and those Sierras cost about 650 bucks. So uh, I'm definitely gonna give the included gear a chance and hopefully they'll hold up and look very nice. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much from the Warbird Brothers.